So fantastic, in this video I'm going to show you how exactly the false ceiling work is done. So right now what uh, you are seeing is actually they are using this uh, ceiling frame and for that they are actually putting this uh, anchor bolt. Okay, so this is something that will be going to the ceiling. So that's what they are doing right now. And uh, you could see that now they have actually made a marking on the ceiling. So where actually, uh, where exactly the frame is going to come. So they would drill the holes and uh, inside the holes, they would actually fix those anchor bolts. So what he is doing right now is fixing the anchor bolt. So these are just the supportings to the ceiling. So they would uh, put it uh, at an even distance and uh, after that they would make the entire frame ready. So you could see that now they have just made the frame ready. So this is roughly around like once you get this false ceiling done, uh, it might be a depth of around roughly 4 inches. So that's the depth that would come. So before creating the false ceiling, you need to plan like from where exactly you are going to uh, leave the wire. So that is something that has to be considered. So once they actually put the frame, uh, it would be a work for the electricians to uh, get all the wirings done. Uh, so that once they do the uh, wiring, then uh, again false ceiling work starts. So here what they are using is like they, are, they would be using a gypsum board to uh, put it on the frames. So these are the gypsum boards, uh, what you could see, which have been already uh, put there. And they are just uh, trying to complete the wiring part that is there. So this is uh, a partially completed one where you can see all the gypsum boards have been put. And once that is done, they will be using this plaster of Paris to give a good finish for the false ceiling. So you could see all the patchy work that is there. So again, uh, there was some uh, errors while doing the false ceiling. So this is being redone right now. Uh, we had asked to do a bit of a better design. So that's where the work is being done. So once that is done, uh, the painter work starts like where uh, it, it's completely the same process what they do uh, for the walls where they have to uh, put the primer and uh, putty and then uh, polish it to give the best finish. So once this is done, then the other uh, electrical works uh, starts again where like they have to put this uh, lighting and things like that. So what he is doing right now is polishing to give it a best finish. So now we are actually fitting the lighting. So these are 6 watt. Uh, lights uh, certainly you can go for either 6 watt or 10 watt depending upon uh, the area of the room so i would say uh, if your room is maybe around 12 by uh, 12 or 12 by 16 you can go for uh, 6 watt but if the room is slightly bigger then go for 10 watt that would be giving you uh, a slightly brighter uh, uh, lights So now you could see that the painting work has started. Uh, they have fitted in the fan, the lighting set, everything. So in between we have actually left a chain as well so that uh, uh, if you want to put the chandelier in, we can certainly put that as well. So once this is done, uh, we would have to actually uh, put the rope lights which will be running uh, uh, at the outer corner of the false ceiling. So this is the rope light. Uh, we have just gone for Philips. Uh, you could see this. Uh, the same one is going just uh, right behind the TV as well. Uh, in this case, we are actually going for uh, warm uh, light. So one thing is like uh, when they are actually putting the rope light uh, on the false ceiling, uh, there are two ways that they would be doing. One is like uh, they would be just uh, uh, 
putting the rope lights on top and they would be just uh, moving it across right now what he is doing is just checking if the lights are working so let me just show you how they are going to do it so as i said uh, two ways that is one either you could uh, stick it there uh, using some material or uh, they can just uh, leave the rope uh, lights there so you could see right now he is just leaving the rope lights so both have its own advantage and disadvantage if you say for example okay if you stick using some material and if there is some flaw and uh, you are trying to pull the rope lights it might damage the false ceiling as well uh, because false ceiling will not be really so strong right and uh, if you just leave it like this uh, what they are doing right now you may not be able to get uh, even lights throughout so again that's something that you got to consider how you really want that to be done so right now in this case they are just leaving it on top and uh, they would be completing the work so this work is almost coming to an end so let me show you how exactly the end work also looks and uh, let me tell you there is going to be one amazing video that is going to come uh, pretty soon so make sure if you are not already subscribed to the channel then please do subscribe so this is uh, the end uh, product how it is looking i would say this is our hall and uh, that's the uh, lights which have been turned on where you could see it's a one watt light which is there so these are one watt lights and yeah this is one watt light what you can see here and uh, right above the tv it's uh, three watt lights so uh, we have used completely warm light so that it gives a, a pleasant look as well and certainly you can go for your choice and right behind the tv we have uh, the rope lights which are running so this is how it looks and so let's turn on the false ceiling light so now we have just turned on the false ceiling lights and let's turn on the other one as well so this is how the entire uh, false ceiling looks and this is how the entire false ceiling work is done if you like this video then please do subscribe to the channel for more wonderful videos to come and uh, i hope this video was uh, helpful so thank you very much and uh, please do subscribe for more videos which are going to come in uh, uh, coming days